One of the bright spots in Haiti is the hospitality industry. Properties like the NH Hotel El Rancho are thriving, welcoming international visitors, especially from North America. I talked to its general manager, Jose Garcia Lima, who is visiting Washington. His company began managing the property three years ago. We have been performing very well uh, in these three years of, of operation. Um, not only from an economical point of view, uh, in terms of economic profit, profitability, but also in terms of social profitability. We have uh, more than 100 employees. Um, we, we purchase almost all, all of our supplies to local suppliers. And so in this case, we, we leverage the local economy. And we're quite satisfied uh, so far uh, of the balance of these, of these three years of, of operation. So you've given local people jobs. You're uh, sourcing all your materials from local companies. How, who are your guests? Are, are you seeing more business travelers, more leisure travelers? Are you seeing a lot more people coming in to visit Haiti now? We have three lines of uh, visitors. We have uh, institutional, we could say embassies, um, political institutions. Uh, we have corporates, uh, corporations, uh, NGOs, and then we have leisure. Um, the leisure market um, does, not, does not represent for us so much, but among the, 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 the whole of the market for us, 48% are North Americans, uh, amongst those 40-42% uh, USA citizens, and uh, about 6% uh, Canadians. Amongst those, many Haitians who are American citizens or Canadian citizens. Uh, so this gives you an idea of uh, how important the diaspora is, is for us. How would you say the impact of the current political situation in Haiti has impacted travel to the country uh, and the hospitality industry in general? How has that fared? Well, the current situation has affected everyone in every sector. Uh, I would not be honest if I told you it has not affected us. Obviously, it has. Um, but uh, we are we are we're performing even better than last year. Uh, but it has affected everyone, even even us. Uh, considering in regards to the last two years, it is it is definitely um, affecting in the sense in our case that uh, this turmoil uh, translates into into uh, cancellations of, of our reservations and many travel who postponed uh, many travelers who postponed their travel or events that are postponed so it is definitely affecting us and, and from here I would like to I would like, I would encourage um, the Haitian political uh, uh, establishment to, to, to reach an, an, an agreement as soon as possible in order to establish uh, a climate of political stability because what do you, what would you say is the perception of Haiti around the world for your visitors and, and for people who are in business looking to invest in Haiti? What's been the perception? Well, uh, what I see on the media, uh, international wise, international wise uh, I see a very bad um, image of, of Haiti, which is not the case. Haiti is a, is, is a great country, a beautiful country. Uh, the people are, are very uh, hospitable, and it has a huge potential. Um, it is definitely not the image that you get from abroad uh, to what the reality is. I invite everybody to, to, to visit Haiti. It's a beautiful country. The people are very nice. And I think you will have an amazing time visiting, visiting Haiti. Jose Garcia, thank you so much for joining us it's here. It's been a pleasure. Visit. Thank you very much.